Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick update on my enclosure box. Uh, so this is what it currently looks like right now. I'm showing you from a distance. And as you can tell, things did not quite match up. Like, sure the D1 fits and I made sure that I had some breathing room on the sides. So that way I can actually pass the wires through that corner right there and plug them up and I wanted to make sure that I had enough room for that laser to actually be able to get adjusted to go up and down to handle whatever workload I'm putting through and also I am going to cut half this top right here I'm going to cut that open and I ordered some acrylic from Amazon so I can actually put on top and be able to see through as it's performing its job so this is actually uh, it's far from being done. One thing I wanted to point out is to make sure that you get your cuts absolutely right once I actually put the specs up because the problem I'm having is you got edges like these not lining up. You got corners open. You've got situations like that. Actually, this kind of works out in my favor because I could pass the wires through. And the biggest issue I have is back here with the hinges. You've got this one like this. And you've got that one that had to be angled. Realistically speaking, of course, this actually works the way that I wanted to, as far as being able to open it. It's got that opening there, but my fix to that would be to actually use the foam that the D1 was packaged to use that to seal whatever cracks that I have in there. So that way I can create some kind of vacuum and I could also install my fan to suck out the smoke and let it out through here. This is the fan I ordered for it. And this is actually gonna get installed from the inside coming out back here. And I've got the exhaust hose right here to actually carry the fumes to wherever I wanna go. So like I said, it's not complete yet. I've been out all day, haven't had time to actually come back and work on it. But this is a project for tomorrow. And once I can actually get it done, finished, sealed up right, I'll post updates. In case you are wondering about how I made the hole back here, I used, where's that? It's a drill bit attachment right here. So the problem, the other problem that I have is this is kind of small. The diameter of the hole that it drilled here is pretty small. So if you took a look at this, the exhaust right here, that's supposed to actually come out through this hole facing this direction, that hole is too small. So what I'm gonna have to do is take a chisel and kind of chisel around it and then figure out how to seal it when I'm done. But overall, uh, biggest mistake, biggest issue here is not getting the cuts perfectly because I had to cut this myself sitting there at Home Depot, waiting forever for the guy to come back there and work the saw. I just left and I came home, tried to cut it myself and ended up with this. So if you can get somebody to give you precision cuts, that would be great. But I will keep you guys updated and I will post something tomorrow.